He is brainless. Jack spilled Harry's four cruel words, causing Eugenie to cry during the coronation. Harry's comment to Eugenie in four words. If I were Jack, I wouldn't have decked Harry then and there. Prince Harry was spotted asking concerning questions to cousin Eugenie outside. Abby jokes in his style. One moment was enough to be offended, and these words were even more offensive. Does he joke like that with his wife? And how many dishes were broken? These two were both feather touches triggered, offended, and cruelly offensive. I watched them come into the abbey. She stormed away from him as if she couldn't put enough distance between them fast enough. Harry was seen standing at the back of the group and shared a small chat with cousin Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank. Our lit reading expert Jeremy Freeman spotted the brief exchange and revealed the four words Harry said as they made their way to the seats inside the abbey. Jack turns back and beams a smile at Harry, who brings his attention to Eugenie, who dresses in silk navy blue dress, showing her huge baby bum. Harry makes a hand gesture and drops his hands while asking her, you ready to draw? She is heavily pregnant and is on camera being washed by millions and millions of people. She is about to walk the whole distance of Westminster Abbey with the world watching. And Harry essentially says, Ooh, you're really fat, aren't you? Unsure if Eugenie answers him, she turns her back against him and gently massages her belly later on when they've sat down in their seats. Harry was seated next to Jack, and the pair appeared to be catching up with all the things that happened lately. The Duke made a cryptic comment and hinted it's an eventuality after Jack said it's not quite the life. Harry also mentioned that he felt sad after having a meeting and added unfed up. I tried talking to him. After the coronation, he was seen leaving the abbey and reportedly headed back to Buckingham Palace, but didn't meet his family. Cheeky chappy facade was on full display as he saw a tear into Westminster Abbey cracking jokes like he owned the place, which hit a reality crueler than a receding hairline that makes his mockery of his brother's balding and his autobiography spare look even more hypocritical. The fifth in line to the throne has missed out on a role of his life, and deep down he knows that. His late mother, Princess Diana Wish, was that her youngest son would be there to support Prince William during what she knew would be an undoubtedly testing reign for Charles III, who was trying to follow the goat. But that was before William found Kate Diana's successor as Princess of Wales, who showed how her gorgeous family represents the future of the monarchy. And did Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and little Louis to their grandfather proud yesterday, while making all of the collective heart swell. The Wales are a family united in service and duty. It is especially touching to see the bond between father and son soon after the holiest moment of the crowning ceremony.